Why don't speaker cables come in balanced, like interconnects? Well, this comes from Doug in Sylvania, Ohio. Why are balanced audio connections reserved for line level and microphone level signals only? Wouldn't speaker level signals benefit too? Well, <clears throat> yeah, they would. And uh, perhaps in a way more than some uh, interconnects, but um, well, that's a good question. Part of the reason is most power amplifiers, the vast majority of power amplifiers are single-ended outputs. And that means that one of them is ground and the other is the actual output of the amplifier. And so you have a non-balanced or single-ended output to begin with. So uh, you don't need balanced cables to connect up to. Now speakers, passive speakers, drivers and all that, are essentially all balanced, right? I mean, they, they are coils. We're trying to drive a series of coils through a crossover. So a balanced output is really the best way to drive a coil, no question about it. I mean, you can get good results either way, but it's the best way to do it. Now, our power amplifiers, whether they be the BHK series, well, let's just talk about BHKs. Our BHK series are all balanced outputs. And, and we do that for a number of reasons. One of the reasons being that we very much want to have the same sex output device. We don't want to have complementary output devices like a lot of amplifiers. And we've talked about this before. In the BHK series, Bascom wanted to have uh, N channels only running the whole signal. To do that, he had to do that with various styles of output stages that resulted in what we would call a balanced output. So, our amplifiers are balanced outputs. Very, uh, a lot of class D amplifiers are balanced outputs, push-pull balanced outputs. But the vast majority of amplifiers are single-ended, and so therefore you have basically single-ended cables. Now, the last part of this that I, I will tell you about is in a way, I'm not sure it really matters because if you look how speaker cables are constructed, they are pretty much almost in a balanced configuration. They are pretty much the most, I mean, I've never seen a pair of shielded speaker cables and you don't want to shield your speaker cables. So typically they're just two identical pieces of wire, whether they're twisted together or whatever. So in a sense, they, you know, they're assuming a balanced construction because the plus and the minus are typically the same. So uh, I think you're going to be okay. It's the best of all that you could have, but, but that's why, because most amplifiers are single-ended, just to answer your question in my most literal engineering sense. <laughs> okay. Thanks. It was a great question, and I, I appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.